Safari on iPad puts whole web pages right in your hand and makes surfing so simple you can do it almost without thinking. Get started by typing a URL or by choosing one of your favorite sites from the bookmarks bar. You'll be amazed at just how fast the web feels on iPad. Sites load quickly with bright vivid photos and crisp text. Double tap to take a closer look. Navigating on iPad is as easy as touching. To open a link, just tap on it or tap and hold it for more options. When you have a multi-touch display this large, you feel like you're actually holding the web right in the palm of your hand. And the great thing about iPad is it adapts to how you want to use it. Rotate to view pages in landscape. And pinch to make things bigger. You'll see even more detail. It doesn't get any simpler. Tap the plus to add a bookmark of the page you're on or easily add any page directly to your home screen, so it's easy to get to all of your favorite sites later on with just a tap. To see all your bookmarks, just tap the bookmarks icon and select the one you want. When you tap here, you can see all your open web pages as thumbnails. Delete the ones you don't want, or tap the one you do, and iPad takes you right there. You can even watch video without leaving the page you're on. Play it full screen with a tap. With Safari on iPad, the web feels more intimate, more immersive, and more fun than ever before. Mail on iPad is an incredibly simple way to view, compose, and send email. With Mail on iPad, you can see and touch your email like never before. And the large multi-touch display adapts to how you want to use it with every turn. Just tap Mail to get started. With iPad and Landscape, your inbox appears on the left so you can quickly scan your messages. Just touch one to see it on the right. Rotate iPad to portrait and the message fills the entire screen. Text is crisp and clear, and photos and other attachments show up right in the message. To save a photo, just press and hold to add it to the Photos app built into iPad. Touch here and your inbox pops in, so you can get to your other messages. For attachments like PDFs and Microsoft Office documents, just tap on them. They open up so you can view them full screen. And when you want to clean up your inbox, it couldn't be simpler. As you choose emails to delete or move into other folders, they slide out into a stack on the right. Then just tap to move or delete. If you need to find a message, searching your mail is really fast. Start typing and you'll instantly see all the messages that match and you can even continue searching all of your emails stored on the server right from here. When you reply to an email or write a new one, a large on-screen keyboard appears automatically. It's nearly the same size as a notebook keyboard, so it's effortless to type on. The keyboard tracks what you type, so it can suggest words, insert punctuation, and even correct spelling for you automatically as you go. With this keyboard at your fingertips, typing is easy and incredibly fast. Mail on iPad is so smart that it can recognize specific info in your messages, like names, phone numbers, and addresses. Tap and hold to add a contact to your address book. Or tap here to open a map, pinpointing the exact location. Mail works with most popular email services and enterprise email servers, and it's really easy to set up. Mail on iPad is an incredibly simple way to view, compose, and send email. iPad is an extraordinary way to view and show off your photos. They look incredible on the large, high-resolution display. And since you explore them just by touching, it feels like you're holding your pictures right in your hands. To start, just tap Photos. No matter how many pictures you have, it's easy to scroll quickly through your entire photo collection. Everything is bright and vibrant on the LED backlit display. Colors just pop. Images are crisp and detailed. Albums shows you all the photo albums you've made and groups them into neat stacks. To preview the photos in a stack, just pinch a little to peek inside. To see all the photos in a stack, tap or pinch to open it. Using the big multi-touch surface on iPad feels completely natural. 
tap a photo to fill the screen, flick through them one by one, or quickly skim them all with the bar at the bottom. To view photos in landscape, just turn iPad and they adjust right away. Show a picture to a friend just by flipping iPad over. It instantly flips the photo so they can see it. Then it flips right back to you. Tap here to easily share or copy your photo or use it for a contact or wallpaper. Slideshows on iPad are amazing. You can pick your own soundtrack from your music library and choose from beautiful animated transitions designed just for iPad, like Ripple and Origami. You can import your photos from your Mac or PC using iTunes. And if you're on a Mac and you use iPhoto, you can also view your photos in events, faces, and places. In events, your photos are organized by when you took them. For example, all of these pictures were taken on a trip to the pumpkin patch. Faces is a way to look at your photos by who's in them, cropped so you can clearly see who it is. These are all the pictures of Liz. And Places is a way to look at your photos by where they were taken. You can even see them on a beautiful map. Just pinch a stack to see your shots from that location. You can also import your photos and videos directly to iPad using the optional iPad camera connection kit. It comes with two connectors. One that lets you import from your camera or iPhone using its USB cable and another that lets you import directly from an SD card. After you see and touch your photos on iPad, you'll never look at them the same way again. <laughs>